So I didn't realize this was a true story when I picked it up, but um, the, the title um, grabbed me. The, the Awakening of HK Derryberry, My Unlikely Friendship with the Boy Who Remembers Everything. And this is a true story. Uh, Jim Bradford is the um, author and his buddy Andy helped him write this book and put his stories together. And this is, this is an incredible book. If this doesn't make you have all the feels, then you need to check your heart at the door. Um, so Jim is on his way, he's retired. He's on his way to grab a coffee uh, from Starbucks. And he just feels like God leads him to go this way instead of this way. And so he ends up at this little fast food chicken restaurant to get a cup of coffee. Seniors have, get like 55 cent coffee. So he's sitting at the counter, he's drinking this coffee, and he notices this little boy at the end of the counter. And he's kind of got his head like in this um, boom box that's like put together with like duct tape and whatnot. And he's got braces on his legs and um, he's got these headphones on and he can't quite figure him out, but he knows there's something special about him. And he's the only guy in the restaurant and this little boy is just kind of sitting there in his drabby clothes. And so by the, before he leaves, he goes over and introduces himself. So he's just seriously uh, super curious about this little boy. So the next Saturday, he goes back to the same coffee shop or the same chicken fast food restaurant for his coffee. And the little boy is there again in the same clothes he was wearing, listening to the headphones. And so he starts to ask some questions uh, to one of the waitresses. And it turns out that the lady who pours his coffee behind the counter is this little boy's grandma. So fast forward, um, HK Derryberry is the name of the little boy. HK is the first um, initials of his parents' middle names. His mom was killed, um, his dad's a drunk, and so he lives with his grandma. He's special needs, he has cerebral palsy, he's blind. Um, he's just this little boy who wants to know everything about everyone. He can tell you if you were born, like for me, June 17th, 1982, he could tell me what day of the year I was born. And that's a special, I always forget the um, acronym for it, but it's like H-A-M-K or something like that. And they actually did a study on him. Um, H -A H -S -A -M, hyper highly superior autobiographical memory um, and so this man befriends this little boy and it starts to create a rift in his marriage and finally um, after they had known each other a year they he brought him um, he had become friends with the grandma and so the grandma would let him take him on little adventures and so he didn't have to sit at the coffee shop uh, because she didn't have anyone to help him on Saturdays his um, he went to the Tennessee Children Tennessee School for the Blind, uh, but that was only during the week. So on Saturdays, he would come and sit at the restaurant and listen to this boom box. He would listen to evangel evangelical preachers or sports talk radio. And so he would um, take him on little adventures. And after a year, uh, he took him home to meet his wife and she absolutely fell in love with him. And they become kind of his, not kind of, they become his second family. Uh, he hadn't had a lot of social interaction just because his grandma was always working. The little boy was nine years old when he met Jim, who was retired. Uh, I think he was 55 or 57. Um, and they become basically best friends by the end of it. You know, HK has his own bedroom. Still to this day, they have their weekly, like Thursday nights, guys night. They go listen to bluegrass. Um, Saturday, he spends a night with Jim and his wife and they go to church on Sunday. And it's just this really incredible story that he helped this little boy do all of these really cool things. Um, he wasn't, he didn't really know how to have conversations with people. He had just kind of been, you know, socially inept because he sat at a diner. Um, he went to the school for the blind and so he did his studies, uh, but he didn't have a lot of outside help with, uh, you know, communication or knowing how to just really be around other people. And so Jim, you know, invites or introduces him to all these people. One night at their Thursday night guys night, um, this local reporter was coming to do an expose on the band that was playing and she sat down at their table It was like the only seat left and starts to have conversations with them and he always wants to know people's birthday um, He has a couple questions like what's your name? When's your birthday? What do you 
I don't know. It's just like, it's a really cool story. So then she starts, you know, asking more questions and um, she loves the story of this man and this little boy and how they've become friends. And so she writes an article in the newspaper and the newspaper actually wants to turn it into this like New York Times something something. And so all of this publicity comes around this little boy. He ends up meeting famous um, athletes and just all these different kinds of people. And you know, this Jim and his wife, like they completely changed this little boy's life. Um, he ended up going to college. Uh, the grandma would come for Christmas. Uh, just a really beautiful story. Um, HK, uh, the awakening of HK Derryberry. And it's just, um, it's just beautiful. He uh, got to meet Alan Jackson, Scott Hamilton, Marsha Blackburn, uh, the owner of Chick-fil-A. And so I absolutely, absolutely recommend buying this book. Um, reading this book, give it to your friends as a gift. Like if this doesn't inspire you to want to be kind to everyone you meet, you know, so often we think of people as special needs as less than us. And that is not, that is so not true. They have so many gifts to offer. And, um, you know, this book was really good for me. I love working with my high school youth. Um, but you know, volunteering with old people or volunteering with special needs people has never been something that was really, did I feel like a calling for. Um, but after reading this book and just understanding how special um, everyone is, no matter their age, special needs, elderly, teens, like everyone needs to be shown God's love. And uh, Jim and his wife did just that for this little boy. Kind of chokes me up just thinking about it. Um, I would definitely read this book again. Um, but I absolutely, yes, great Christmas present, uh, birthday present, just inspirational, inspirational story. So, The Awakening of H.K. Derryberry by Jim Bradford. Pick it up.